Welcome to part two of this vlog. We started off by hiking the base trail of Grosmorn Mountain and I spotted an animal. I thought it was a turkey. Well, I yeah, turkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was like a mini turkey. Oh, they're coming, oh, they're coming out to the trail, I think. Whoa. This bird is called a rock ptarmigan or grouse. This is almost as good as a moose. <laughs> In the winter, these birds' feathers turn white to match their surroundings. We were all really excited to see an animal because we were looking out for moose. Catherine was looking for Sasquatch, wolf, bear, coyote. She wanted to see anything dangerous. I was happy to see just this bird. But I did hear something in the night as I was sleeping. I heard the noise of two footsteps on gravel outside my window and I opened my eyes and I could see a bit of the outdoors from the bed and I was just expecting someone like a human to pop their head in and look at me but it was likely an animal because I then heard a truck honk their horn so they probably whatever it was crossed the street the owner thought it could be a bear. Back to the hike on the screen. This is Grossmore Mountain, and you can see that the trail continues up, just that light strip that goes up the mountain. So the hike to go all the way to the top was canceled by our tour guide. Not the son, but the father said that the visibility wasn't good, but it was pretty clear when we got there. I already knew I wasn't going to continue up if we had the choice because the collar of my hiking boots were pressing into my ankle and it was hurting so badly, mostly when I was going downhill. Compared to the day before where we did the super steep lookout trail, this one felt a lot better and I didn't find it too hard until we turned back and went downhill. But I loved the vegetation, the scenery on this hike, it was stunning. And we stopped for lunch for quite a while and got to enjoy the view. I definitely recommend going on this hike of all the ones that we've been on. And if you have good shoes, definitely try to go all the way to the top. For dinner, I ordered a lobster roll, which was a little sweet in my opinion. I've never had one, so I didn't know what to expect. If they're usually savory, I think I would enjoy that a little more. But the lobster was of course very fresh and they gave a really good portion size. We had some great weather so far, but coming up are some rainy days. Hey everyone, I haven't really spoken to the camera much since I arrived here because I'm surrounded by strangers and I'm not the most comfortable filming myself or speaking to the camera, but my roommate, well, roommate here, Catherine just left. She's headed on a month long trip around Newfoundland and because of the weather today, she decided to take off and I'm gonna be, I guess, continuing with the group on a few more small, I don't even wanna call them hikes because we have done some big hikes and today is more like little walking trails and it's supposed to be raining. I haven't seen much rain, but it's windy and the waves are huge. And I'm gonna be picked up in 30 minutes. I'm ready to go. We went on Cowhead Lighthouse Trail. This was by far the easiest hike we did. The trees were swaying back and forth because of the strong winds. We made it back just in time before the rain started and then headed to lunch. I had bacon wrapped scallops, a side of fries and a side of coleslaw. Then in the pouring rain, we made it down to the beach just to look and see where we would have gone on our next walk. And back to where I was staying in Sally's Cove, I toured the farm. Look at all these chickens. Hi, they're so cute. Look at them. Hi! Aren't you friendly little chicks? Headed to the garden where the tour guides are staying and building extra lodging. Sorry about the audio. I forgot to put my wind buff. So that's one of the cabins. And this is the other one that they're building. Currently their rescue dog is in there. So I was instructed not to open the door. Thank 
cute. Here are the gardens. Let's see what's growing. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. This looks like a larger field. That poor dog's still barking. It's all my fault. Nothing's better than going off on your own and exploring, even when it feels like trespassing. <laughs> I did get permission to trust. Oh, there's a chicken inside. See, <laughs> see that one? How to get in there. So I mentioned that I have the place to myself, but the owners thought they would give me a babysitter. This boy, Cola, he's gonna be watching out for me. Yeah. <laughs> he's sad. Should we walk to next? Let's go to this room. Come on. Where is he? <laughs> Let's go over here and see if he falls. Is that how it starts? <laughs> For breakfast, we have the leftover egg salad. Potato salad, egg salad. And then I also have fruit and toast. I fly back later today, but I'm spending the last day indoors because it's pouring rain out. We had a boat tour scheduled yesterday and then rescheduled for this morning and both were canceled. So I won't be able to see a beautiful fjord. I'll have to come back to see that or go to travel somewhere else where they have those. I did get to see some amazing views on the hikes and we had great weather in the beginning of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye. Check out part one of this vlog if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.